In this video, we'll be talking about basic differentiation rules. Our first rule is the constant rule, and basically it just says that the derivative of a constant is zero. So if you were to think about a function f of x equals 3, this is a y equals 3, which is a horizontal line through 3. And whoops, the slope of that line is 0. So the derivative of any constant is always 0. The derivative of f of x equals 2 pi would be f prime equals 0. So any constant. Our next rule is the constant multiple rule, which says that if you have uh, some constant multiplied by a function, to find the derivative of that product, you just pull that constant out in front and multiply it by the derivative of the function. The power rule says that the derivative of x to the n is equal to n times x to the n minus 1. So basically, when you're doing a derivative of uh, power, bring this exponent out in front so it becomes the coefficient, and then you reduce the exponent by 1. So let's do some examples. Find the derivative of f of x equals x so we could use the power rule on this. This is the same as x to the first power. So our derivative, bring the exponent out in front, and then reduce the exponent by 1. So we now have x to the 0. Well, x to the 0 is 1. So my derivative is equal to 1. We're asked to find the derivative of f of x equal x squared. So again, let's um, bring that exponent out in front. So I'll have 2 multiplied by, and then when I reduce this exponent by 1, my x is now to the first power. And this can be rewritten as 2x. To find the derivative of f of x equal x cubed, bring your exponent out in front using the power rule. So we have 3 times x to the second power. On this one, it helps to do a rewrite um, and bring this x that's in the denominator up to the numerator. So our rewrite would be h of x equals x plus, and then in order to bring that up to the numerator, I need to change this positive one exponent to a negative one. So that's 4x to the negative 1. Now I can use my power rule. So, oops, h prime of x is equal to and the derivative of x to the 1 is 1. And then when I bring this negative 1 out front, I actually have this coefficient multiplied by that negative 1, and then x raised to the negative 2. Since we're reducing this, we're subtracting 1 from this exponent. This can simplify to 1 minus 4 x to the negative 2. And this one, we can do a rewrite on this one. Uh, 
change this square root of x to x to the one half power. So x squared minus 3x plus 5, and that's over x to the one half power. And then um, I'm going to separate these terms. So this first one is, uh, remember you subtract the exponents. So I'm still rewriting r of x equals, subtract the exponents, x to the 3 halves. And then this middle term will be 3, negative 3x to the 1 half. And then the last one will be plus 5x to the negative 1 half. Now I can use my power rule on each of these terms individually so that r prime is 3 halves x to the 1 half as you subtract 1 from 3 halves and minus 3 times 1 half x to the negative 1 half and then on this one, plus 5 times a negative 1 half x to the negative 3 halves. I can do the multiplication here to get a little bit simpler answer. So that our prime is 3 halves x to the 1 half minus 3 halves x to the negative 1 half minus 5 halves x to the negative 3 halves. And on this one, I would rewrite this as uh, y equals 1 sixth times x squared plus 3x. So my derivative on this would be this coefficient multiplied by the derivative of this function. And we can use the power rule on each of these terms. So this is going to be 2x to the first power. And then um, this will be 3 x to the 0, but it's just 3. Now I can write this as distributing here. 1 6 times 2 would be 1 3rd x, and then 1 6 times 3 would be 1 half. So I could write it this way. And another one, we can separate our numerical coefficient away from the variable. So g of x is equal to 5 eighths times x to the fourth. So the derivative then of g will be 5 eighths times 4x to the third power. Do the math here, we get g prime of x is equal to 5 halves x cubed. And this one, let's rewrite this. Again, take this numerical coefficient separate from my from the rest of the function. So we have f of x equal a negative 3 sevenths, and then we have 3x 
minus 2x squared over x. And this I'm going to simplify even further before I do a derivative. So f of x equals negative 3 sevenths times, and then we can separate this into two terms and simplify each term. 3x over x is 3 minus, and then negative 2x squared over x is negative 2x. So now our derivative is negative 3 sevenths times uh, the derivative of a constant is 0, and then uh, the derivative of negative 2x is negative 2. This 0 is gone, so I basically have f prime is equal to a positive 6 sevenths. And then one last one here. Um, let's separate this 9 over 5. This is the same as 9 over 5 times, and then it's 1 over x squared. But in order to use our power rule, let's make this x to the negative. So I have y equals 9 fifths x to the negative 2. So my derivative is 9 fifths times negative 2 x to the negative 3. We can do the math here. y prime is equal to a negative 18 fifths times x to the negative 3. Or if we want to write this with a positive exponent, we can write it as a negative 18 over 5x to the third power.